Hey guys, welcome back to Diet Jesus. My name is Maple. And I'm Ariana. And today we are finishing up the Pacific. We are now on episode 10. 10. And they heard it and they fluttered the streets and they were hollering and dancing and, and it was the happiest day. It was the happiest day. I'm excited to have some type of resolution with this. Like, yeah. it's done. I want to see him back home, you know. I'm sure it's not going to be a spitting image of perfection, but I, I'm cool. I'm cool that uh, we don't have to do what we did last time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really okay with that. Mm -hmm. It's giving the notebook. The blessed Sorry. Sleep. That exact Achilles setup. still wept for thinking of his dear comrade. He thought of all they had done together. Oh my goodness gracious. Done. Both on the fields of battle. I can't believe he's just smoking a cigarette like that. And he can't even do anything. It's just like, it is. he's like, what is happening? About a comic. Huh. The Japs surrendered. The war's over. You hear that? <sighs> Here we go. Can you hear me? Did you? Oh, they're still there. Can't believe it's over, huh? Sort of, uh, what do you do now? What do we do now? Mm. What an idiot. Will. Oh my god. God damn. I'm fucking Johnny yeah. Walker Red from the bottle. God uh. bless. Oh, sorry. I'm like, it's just hurting my stomach. I know. Like, you know it's literally, feeling? yes, exactly. Welcome home. Mm. You know, and he's going back to his weird family dynamic. Just giving us some warning of a phone call or. Mm. You gotta be kidding. And then you just made it a weird thing that, like, he didn't give you enough heads up. Like you weren't anticipating that your son was going to come home? Well, half this junk we can throw away. It's not what you said when we lugged it all up here. Oh, that was four <gasps> years ago. So that means they just really didn't Absolutely anticipate him coming back or anything else. Yeah. This place spick and span. Um, he, he probably would have been better off trying to go back to the... The Australian. Yeah. 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 Family, yeah. Uh... You boys watch. I'm gonna get that girl. You've been saying that about every girl since San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this? He's gonna like. She's gonna like meet his um. Mrs. Bazalone. I recognize you from the photos Journey sent. Mm. Welcome in. Oh, well. Heard so much about you. Last time I saw him in Honolulu, he couldn't stop talking about you. I saw his grave on Iwo. He's got lots of good Marines on all sides of him. He, uh, he would have appreciated that. I thought you should have this. So, now you're back. I'm guessing you're here for a job. That's why they made you the editor. Hmm. Take my former position. Today's good. Today. Bergen Catholic plays Don Bosco prep this afternoon. Kickoff is at three, so I better get going. Show me talk about salary. Ten dollar week raise will do it. I will give you seven. I'd have taken five. <laughs> What are you looking at? She never gave you the time of day. <coughs> and she's dating an officer, of course. Did you come up here for a reason? To get you to stop banging on that typewriter. With this mess. As if what he walked into wasn't your freaking mess, lady. Dude, for real. Watch your wallet. 
What did you watch? <laughs> New Orleans. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, is he not gonna wake him up? Mm. <sighs> I'd like to speak to Vera, please. And who shall I say is calling? Lived across the street from you for the last 20 years. Of course. Mm. Welcome Dude. home, Robert. For real? Let me <laughs> see if she can come to the door. <sighs> These people are <laughs> fucking just unbearable. <laughs> God, what the f***, dude? <laughs> oh, man. It's not funny, but it is. <laughs> Bob Lecky. Well, thank God. Back. Okay, come on. I've been wondering if you would grant me the pleasure of taking you out. Uh, I have a date tonight. When the doorbell rang, I thought you were him. What's going on here? <laughs> I just asked Vera if she'd like to have dinner. <laughs> nice try. She's not interested. Oh. How presumptuous, sir. Actually, I don't have any plans for tomorrow night. Thank you. I, yeah, like, oh, is that right? Sorry, you, you mm -hmm. don't speak really? for her. Yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I've been with a lot of gasoline. Good night, Vera. Oh, you're that. <laughs> hey, you should. If you want it that bad, then you'd be driving to the jewelry store. Mm -hmm. Looks like I am free for dinner tonight. <laughs> oh, I hope they hit it off and fall in love and are married forever. Yeah, and people start to f remember who the f gonna do he is. Right. <laughs> I'm back riding for the Burton County Records. Mm -hmm. So what's next? I don't know. I didn't get that far. Mm hmm. You know, I wrote you a lot of letters while I was over there. You did? That's true. Mm -hmm. You didn't get any. I never sent them. Why? I didn't think I was going to make it. Mm. It didn't matter if I sent them or not. Can I read them now? I don't have them anymore. <laughs> Rain on Cape Gloucester erased every word. <laughs> Best stuff I ever wrote. It is hard because the girl in Australia, their chemistry was hard to beat. Magnetic. Hard to beat. Mm hmm. There goes the rest of my water. I hope I don't regret it. <laughs> mm hmm. Good to see you, Eugene. Blue dress driver, Chase. What do you remember about Mary Houston? Well, like everybody else in Mobile, I was in love with Mary Houston. <laughs> That's too bad for you. She's marrying me. <laughs> sure she will. So you're just gonna have to deal with the brother? <laughs> in the eyes of God and the law. <laughs> <laughs> well, what am I gonna hear next? The Martians landed downtown, setting up a hotel? <laughs> if you think that I'm gonna stand at the altar and lose Mary Houston to the likes of you... <laughs> <laughs> well, hell yes! No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's so composed, like seeing them mm -hmm. again. <laughs> like, definitely when we had family members come home, none of us were composed. Like, it wasn't like this gentle, like, oh my gosh, like slowly walking right. over. It's like we are like screaming. Yeah. I forget that Eugene's family has like money. 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 Oh. Ugh, I used to get, obviously for different reasons, PTSD dreams, and they're not... They did go away eventually, after a couple of years. I was like, okay. When they're happening, it, but I cannot imagine, like, that's how you sleep every night. You show up at that ball, decked out in your uniform, and all the ripe fruit will fall off the tree right at your feet. No, Edward, I don't believe I will. You're gonna pass on the OON ball? No. I don't believe I will ever put on a uniform again. Mm. Ever. <laughs> You looking to register for classes, Mr. Sledge? Thinking about it. Good choice. 
Isn't there anything the Marine Corps taught you that you can continue at band with Polly? Girl, I would not say that like that. They taught me how to kill Japs. I got pretty damn good at it. Mmm. Oof. Oh, man. Uh, also, like, why would she say it like that? Like, I would never think to phrase something. Didn't didn't that teach you anything? Like, for how, like, eloquent everybody is mm -hmm. during this time, it just, like, that, that whole scene just surprises me that that's mm -hmm. how uh, that plays out. Why did I end up back here when all those other fellas didn't? Mm. I thought that. Sydney Phillips. Yeah. You get back in here and dance with a woman who loves you. I'm coming, boss lady. <laughs> come on in. Dude, come on. Is that green spinach? The waves are caused <laughs> by a receiver shot through an electron gun onto the back of the screen. Always with the answers. I think the army. I love take green spinach. The I'm just gonna say it. I don't think I've ever had it right, before. Bob? It's delightful. You know, they transmit from the top of the Empire State Building. I bet in five years, everyone's gonna want one. So are they Who's next? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if only that. they knew. Now they're holding us hostage. We didn't fight for a bunch of greedy strikers. Oh, Bob, we all appreciate the sacrifice you made on our account. You know what I fought for? Ooh. Let's get real. Television. <laughs> Like, they're all a bunch of complainers. Like, even friggin' the old cream spinach. Really? No. Did it have to be cream spinach? Really? Did, spinach? My, did my son have to come home from the war and now I have to move all my things out of his room? <laughs> Especially just because I, I like Blackie so much. I'm like... I know. He just deserves better. Yes. He like, deserves better. So, every, yeah. all of this is just Long, making me mad. Yeah, for that's him. fair. Just the two of us in a grand morning. I think that maybe this isn't the best activity to take Eugene. He looks like he's about to have a panic attack. Yeah. Oh, yep, there it is. Eugene? I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, no, I threw sorry. in my tissue. You don't have to apologize to me, Eugene. I reckon the dove population's going to be mighty happy this morning. <laughs> Your brother's coming for supper this evening. Evidently, he's been named some kind of supervisor at the bank. Better get our money out of that bank. <laughs> <laughs> you need to make a plan for the future. Leave him alone, Mary Frank. Mary Frank, you have no idea what men like him have been through. Now go on, let him be. Well, his dad's a he said psychi he works with, I mean, well, he was saying he was aware of how like- Yeah, he's a doctor. Guys have come uh -huh. back. And I think yeah, he, was a, he was a doctor in the war in for the first world war. Yeah, but I wish I could remember if they like specified like what quite exactly- Oh, right, right, right. His yeah. detailed like mm -hmm. description was of his time. Like, mm -hmm. hey, there's nothing wrong with doing nothing for a while. There's really not. Nice. <laughs> Jeez. Nice, Eugene. Okay. Oh, dang. They both together. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That is really cool. Wow, that's like... <laughs> they literally... They like... don't... Oh, that's super sad. I didn't... Okay. Oh. Oh man, that one got me more than I thought it was going to. Oh dang, that likeness is good too. <sighs> oh wow. Wow. I guess that would make sense, like mm -hmm. him leaving on the train. He didn't mm -hmm. leave, you know. Oh. A pallbearer at his funeral. 
became a professional go golfer? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yay! yay. Okay, yeah. that's so good. Oh, okay. okay. Cute. Oh. Ugh. Tears for different reasons this time. Too. Yeah, we've come to the end. To the end. I will say I did like the wrap up. I loved getting the updates. That was great. Um, mm -hmm. That made it. You know, it's really it's always great to put a the real person with who the story is after. You know, and I, I love a good picture to who they uh, who the actual person was. Who so yeah. that was really nice, and that was a nice wrap up. Um, and I, I mean. Hopefully, like, a lot of the people, uh, you know, feel that their stories were represented in in a way that they're, like, happy with and proud of. Yeah. Um, so, but I'm relieved that this is done. <laughs> There's no more of the no Pacific. No more of the Pacific. <laughs> And just like seeing like, I don't know, I'm glad we wrapped up with the stories of like, like you said, like it's I, nice. I, I like that we got an ending. I like that we wrapped it up, put a bow on it. I mean, yeah, you still see that like Eugene was obviously really suffering. Um, yeah. I'm glad though that he did get married eventually and yeah. like have kids and stuff. He was able to, you know, overcome his internal battles. So, um. Yeah, or just his, his uh, like, he's very guarded. And mm -hmm. I don't know, like, well, and him teaching biology or becoming a teacher, right? Yeah, he yeah. became a professor. Yeah, but he had, he got, it did say he got married. Yeah, yeah. he was PhD, he got married, he had three, three children? Yeah. Three children? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah also, yeah. The, the fact that they didn't talk until she, he wrote the book and then he was oh, a pallbearer in Snafu's wedding, and wedding, wow, at a pallbearer's uh, funeral. Yeah. Oh. I know. That's like a really big thing. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh. I know. Great. Yeah. That was big. So, and the fact that Snafu just didn't talk to anybody. That's wild. I know. But, but that's why I was like, I think that's why, like, they kind of show him, like, not waking Eugene up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Because I think, like, when he was done with that, like, he was just really, I, I could see Snafu being the person that's like, He's just leaving that behind him. Yeah. And like he's going to start a new, yeah. Into his new life. Yeah, for sure. Like, I, yeah. Yeah. So it's cool to get, you know, some updates and some wrap ups and yeah, that kind of stuff and to see the real people and see who was, you know, narrating in the beginning. So that was cool. Yeah. But yeah. That was it, guys. Yep. That was the last one. Yeah. Thanks for joining along. Um, yeah. It was a, it was a very, tear it was a very tear-filled journey but exhausting. <laughs> exhausting but you know we did it we made it through we didn't stop and yeah so thanks for watching oh, yeah. with us and yeah. we'll see you later bye bye <laughs>